President Barack Obama went on Nationwide TV tonight to try to quell the criticism about our military involvement in Libya. He said the U.S. is committed to pulling out of that conflict soon. NBC's Steve Handelsman joins us live from the White House tonight with more on the president's speech. Steve, thanks for being with us. Suzanne, thanks. Good evening from Washington, where President Obama today made his case in moral terms, saying not to help what he called our fellow human beings would betray what he called who Americans are. United States. President Obama spoke proudly about the first U.S. war he's ordered as commander-in-chief. I want to be clear. The United States of America has done what we said we would do. He would promised to prevent the mass murder of Libyans who backed the rebels, using U.S. allies and no U.S. ground troops. Accomplished, said the president, just in time. If we waited one more day, Benghazi, a city nearly the size of Charlotte, could suffer a massacre that would have reverberated across the region and stained the conscience of the world. Why intervene in Libya? Because in that country at this time we could, said the president. It's who we are, he said, and who he is. Some nations may be able to turn a blind eye to atrocities in other countries. The United States of America is different. And as president, I refuse to wait for the images of slaughter and mass graves before taking action. Now, thanks to U.S. and coalition pilots, Libyan rebels are moving toward Tripoli. Why not send U.S. troops to help them overthrow Muammar Gaddafi? To be blunt, we went down that road in Iraq. Too costly, he said, in U.S. blood and dollars. No way in Libya. Now, critics like Republican Senator John McCain said tonight, U.S. action is needed, continued U.S. action, he said, to force Gaddafi out. But President Obama in his speech said that's now up to the Libyans, and he's reducing the American role. Live from Washington, I'm Steve Handelsman, 24-hour news aide, Suzanne. Thank you so much, Steve, for being with us tonight. We appreciate that report.